Thomas Leo Baines. In 1918, the Germans were bombing the hospitals on Corpus Christi behind the lines, and Captain Reverend T.L. Baines received fatal injuries about that time. Private John Bamber first joined the Preston Pals and was afterwards attached to the 1st Loyal North Lancashire Regiment. A letter from one of his comrades was that he met a hero's death in a letter sent to his mother. Private Robert Bannister, shot by a sniper while repairing barbed wire entanglement on a moonlight night. He volunteered to go with the party appointed because his friend was one of the party. He was a scholar at Preston Grammar School. Boy George Banks. He was not killed or injured, but died of pneumonia at Hounslow Military Hospital. The rank of boy is right. He was only 17 years of age, and that is how they class them in the Royal Air Force. Sergeant Thomas Beardsworth. This young man had served 11 years with the Colours and was 28 years of age at the time of his death. He received his wounds in the third journey through heavy German barrage fire, supplying his men with ammunition. He served in France previous to being drafted out to Salonica. Private James Bowman. Private J. Bowman enlisted on the 13th of August 1915 in the Army Service Corps as a baker, and before going out to France on the 22nd of May 1917, he was transferred into the Northamptonshire, the regiment he was in when he was killed. Cadet William Edgar Bonus Burton joined the Artist Rifles Officer Training Corps on September 26, 1915 and after completing his training for a commission was accepted for the 3rd 5th Lancashire Fusiliers. Returning to his headquarters to await gazetting, he contracted pneumonia and died. Private George Brindle, deceased, had been once before wounded about May 1915 and had been back in France about four months. Corporal Richard Conroy, taken prisoner of war on the Western Front in May 1915 and died in Germany while prisoner of war on October the 28th, 1918. Private Joseph Cotton, enlisted in the Loyal North Lancashire Regiment but was subsequently transferred to the 7th Border Regiment on arriving in France, with which regiment he met his death. He was in France only six weeks. Gunner Alfred Ernest Craven. Gunner Craven was killed by a bomb dropped by a hostile aeroplane which passed over the camp where he had gone to rest after being in action. He joined the army in August 1915 and went to France the following February. At the time he met his death he was expecting getting home on leave. Sergeant Harold Dickinson. He was awarded the Military Medal by the King on 9th of March 1917. He was in charge of a wiring party of eight men on consolidating work. By his determination under heavy and accurate fire at short range, he completed his task in spite of three of his men being wounded and one killed. He was heartily congratulated for his bravery by General Sir Archibald Hunter, MP. Corporal Kenneth Vincent Edgar. No trace of this poor boy's body was ever found, but a comrade saw him fall at 6.30 that evening. I would like it to be known that he was a splendid son. Duty always came first. His great love for his home and those in it and his young life had been one long sacrifice for those he loved. Then this greater one for the country he loved beyond all.